One of the services TCP offers is flow control. This means the TCP sender will not overwhelm the TCP receiver. Remember that when datagrams arrive at the receiver, the segments carried are delivered to the TCP from the IP layer. The TCP socket puts the data in its receive buffer and the application reads this data from this buffer. When the data arrives, the receiving application might be busy with something else and might not be willing to read it right away. If the sender's rate of send is faster than rate of receiving application reading from this buffer, the receiver buffer may overflow. In order to control the rate of transmission so that the sender does not overwhelm the receiver, the receiver should be able to tell the sender its capacity of receiving data from the lower layer to control the flow of the data so that it can manage the receiver buffer at its site. That is the service provided by TCP flow control. TCP flow control decides the sender rate of transmission to adjust it to buffer capacity of receiver. To do this, the receiver advertises its free buffer space by including RWND, which is the receive window in the segments. Receiver buffer size is a socket option, which could be adjusted. The receiver window is a portion of this buffer which is empty and could be used to store new arriving data. The available space will shrink if the buffer data is used slower than arrival rate. Therefore, the RWND will be smaller. The receiver informing this new smaller value will cause the sender to limit the amount of on-act in-flight data to the receiver's new value of the receive window. This will guarantee that the receiver buffer will not overflow. Therefore, the sender will ensure not to overwhelm the receiver with too much data. 